ClickFX is a very simple, easy to use user interface that controls a very powerful render engine. And what it really shines at is being able to take any media type of any format, put it into a media button like we're going to do here, and play it out. So what we're doing now is we're right clicking on an empty slot, empty button, we're saying import files. We have all these other options, but let's see if we can uh, take some video into the system first. And we did that by selecting the file on the hard drive and it immediately turns it into a very easy to use button. I clicked on it a couple of times to get it into program and there it is, it's looping on my output. If I wanna add some more content to this system, I just repeat that same uh, process. So I select the files on the hard drive, I hit open and there they are. Um, they each again get a nice thumbnail. I click on it once, it goes to preview, click on it again, and it goes to program. So imagine that to be your output, your video screen, uh, any type of ribbon, because we can do this on uh, different types of resolutions as well. Now, if we're talking about a different type of content, like graphics, uh, scenes that you want to perhaps put on the output as well, the process is very similar. We can right click and say create a graphic. And for now, we're just going to simply add a little text field and type the text in there. What we're going to do is position this and save it and uh, give it a meaningful file name because every scene does get saved as a prime scene. So there's the file name, we're gonna hit save. And as soon as we hit close, we now have a, a different media type on the media page, but again, a very simple, a very easy process to just get a graphic up there with some text. And then I can start layering this on the output. And as I continue to do this, I can quickly build my show. So let's switch over to the DVI side. So what we just saw previously was our SDI output system. This is our DVI based system. And you can tell that the user interface is very similar and the process is almost, almost exactly the same. I just selected a clip, I imported it into my media page. And again, it puts a nice thumbnail on it. I click play and there it is, it's on my first output. And the difference here is that we're not talking about a full frame HD SDI output, we're now outputting on a DVI canvas. And what's really nice about that as well is I can actually assign to different regions on the canvas, which, which is what I just did. And that's another part of click effects on the DVI side that's a basic, but a very strong and powerful feature. So again, more clips added to the system Similar process, I right click, add them, assign them to a, a different output region or sub channel, and now I'm on the output and within seconds, I've got content playing on my screens, no matter what the resolution or the size of the output is.